we want the dice rolls, so we want to play first. We could use one more land, but this hand looks really good. So we have a spell snare and a lightning bolt. We can bolt one of their turn one plays, we can spell snare their turn two play, or we can remand it if necessary. This is a keep. We ideally don't want to crack these fetch lands until we have to. And Brazilian click um, can be a clock when needed, so. Uh, looks like we have a burn opponent or Mardu Pyromancer. Oh, nope. Stomping Grounds. Faith. So this could be Hollow One. Hollow One. Oh, Dredge. Okay. Ooh. Um, so they have a Thug and a Malgum in their yard. Okay. Huh. That's pretty good. So we can actually stifle um, a return trigger. Um, so we can dredge four. Yeah, this is the deck that I've been playing the most. Yeah, we can flagrate. Um, I can remand the Faithless Looting. If they have a land, they just play it again. That said, there's not... Uh, I would rather save this remand and remand a... Yeah, we're going to let that happen. Because we want to remand a... Um, uh, conflagrate out of the graveyard. Uh, we don't have the mana to nimble obstruction is this. We're going to get back a couple of Malcolms. Two of Malcolms. Let's see if they're stuck on one land. Nope, alright. So they're also getting back a blood gas. So we're gonna let those resolve. And then we can kill one of them. I think we want to just go get Bolt. Bolt one of these amalgams. And then... Yeah, we don't want to... We do, we do need to draw some lands, so... Don't want to, to fetch the Scalding Tongue yet. It's unfortunate. Missing the land drop is not what we wanted to have happen there. So I played this deck this weekend in two tournaments. I played the IQ. Um, I went 4-0 and 2, top 8 and lost in 3 to green, Mono Green Tron. And then I played in a PPTQ and just got run out of the room. I mulled the 4 and 5 um, more times than not. I only kept a 6 or 7 card hand twice at 3 rounds. So it's definitely not, not a sweet go of it. 2-3-6. Just double amalgam in his graveyard. If he's got a land, he can conflagrate me for five and shoot his blood gas to try to play land, but we will remand the conflagrate. That's what they're going to do. Oh, they're only discarding one. That's interesting. And that just exiles the conflagrate. Uh, Lava Mancer's okay. So 
So there's the steam vents. We're going to go and shock it into play. We don't want to, but um, we want to be able to remand or spell snare. We want to be able to remand and spell snare or remand and abraid, or maybe we nimble uh, if there's one Narc Amoeba trigger. We'll counter that. I'm going to keep the graveyard open. So I'm going to dredge five. Let's see if they hit blood gas or Narc Amoebas. So they hit one Narc Amoeba. Um, we're actually going to cycle this to counter that ability. Because I don't want them bringing back both prized amalgams. Four. Oh, and they just have what can flag rate, yeah. So I guess I couldn't afford to do that because I'm just dead to come flag rate. Yeah. Alright, so that was a mistake. Oh, this is not a great matchup. So we definitely have magma sprays. Kill blood gas and keep them out. Um, spell snare only hits cathartic reunions. We're going to get that one out of here. Burst Lightning, we're not really trying to tip all their creatures out like that. Uh, we can bring in Melody. I like Staticaster. Um, I don't hate the gates. I don't love Lava Mancers either. What's better, Lava Mancer, or Gate, or Roast? You don't die to their nut draws. Like, I mean, those you're going to die to no matter what. It's really, we have to ask ourselves the question of, like, if they hit Blood Gas Prize Amalgam, then Roast is better than one of these Lava Mancers. So let's try this. Um, to play first, yes. Um, hand is average, but we'll keep it. It's not a great hand. Um, the reason I've been on Dredge for the last couple months is outside of winning one GP, it hasn't been showing up in 5-0s a whole lot, it's not showing up in GPs and top 16s or top 8s, and so like, your graveyard hate is really way down as far as how many decks in the format are playing graveyard hate. So the deck, when it, there isn't graveyard hate in the format, because your, your Dredge is basically draw 5, um, it's one of the most efficient decks in seeing the library in existence, like, in the entire format. So, I think this deck is really well positioned in the current format, but you have to determine based off your local metagame and what you're planning on facing if you're going to PPTQs. If you have a lot of blue-white opponents, they're going to just naturally have uh, rest in peace. So, you just kind of kind of have to keep that in mind. So, we could play Scalding Tarn and fetch for Steam Vents. We don't take damage later, but our mana's okay without that. That's unfortunate. Brought in Ancient Grudge, which is dead against us at least. Get back Blood Ghast. And step, he's gonna get back Prize Amalgam. We're gonna bolt the Prize Amalgam. The hope is they don't manage to discard another Prize Amalgam right here, because then they would get Delay Trigger at the end of my turn. We can just Stifle Bird that. Okay, so that comes into play, and then we bolt this guy. So if we play a Delver of Secrets, I don't think we play Delver here. Because we really want to try to find a way to isolate that graveyard. There's Nimble Destructionist. We can play Delver next turn, but like Delver, we're not chumping with Delver, so the only reason we would have Delver is if we're like gonna be on the aggressive and we're not on the aggressive this game. What do we got? So they hit a whiff, 
and I have two amalgams. They can con hit us for two, conflagrate, targeting their blood gas, and then whenever they play a land, we can cycle our nimble obstructionist to keep them from bringing back their. Oh, no, oh, okay. What are they playing? Faith is looting. Yeah. Can't do anything about that. Missed, which is nice. Um, it does make me wish that I had played the Delver now. Because we got nothing out of it. There's a beautiful. Beautiful's a lot worse now that I'm not playing Spell Stutter Sprite. In fact, you probably don't need Mutavolt anymore. I guess you, you do need to have some way of dealing damage um, when games go long, but. Primarily run this card because if you have spell status sprite, it makes that card more effective at countering things. Double blood gas, dang. Be nice to have some form of anger. Um, so they're killing Delver. They're negative two, negative twoing. They're draining. And they're gonna make us discard. So we can Wizard's Lightning. We're gonna lose the Wizard's Lightning. So the question is, do we shoot Blood Ghast? It's gonna come right back. I think we shoot the opponent. this one. And we get to see our lands. Yep. Sardic Reunion or Conflagrate? Life in the low, okay. So, it's also worth noting if you're going to play Dredge, Blood Gas is a May trigger. So, they could have actually left their Ghost Quarter up um, and not done the Life in the low, and they could have gotten go Blood Gas back at a later point. Um, also, they could have. Uh, what else could they have done? They could have chosen not to bring back both blood gas, saved one of them in the graveyard, so that way in the event I like topped up deck in anger, they still have one blood gas in the graveyard to, to make things happen. Alright, so probably gonna animate this wandering fumeral. So we can block, and then we'll shoot a prized amalgam. How much can they do? They can deal eight damage to us. So if I block here and shoot that, I'm taking seven. Yeah, pretty much dead. We're gonna take seven damage. Yeah, we probably want some kind of relics or anger of the gods in the sideboard. Wait. Oh no, I miss I miscounted that. So we took seven. Thirteen. Yeah, because now they just delete to us. Yep, which did. So we lose to Dredge. We really have no cards for Dredge. 